Hi everyone, my name is Sepp Sneja and I'm finishing up my AAAS fellowship at USAID, which is the main agency for US foreign assistance. I'm an engineer and public health scientist, scientist by training and I fully believe in the power of scientific discovery to change things. But when I first heard the AAAS motto of be a force for science, I have to admit, I thought to myself, that's really dorky. <laughs> what I did not expect during my fellowship was to encounter those that had an incredible amount of optimism as beneficiaries of investment in science and how in turn they would reinvigorate my own optimism and make me recognize that I need to be a force for science champion too, which I hope to inspire you to become in the next two minutes. So while at USAID, I got to spend a part of it in Liberia. It's one of the poorest countries on earth. It's a, it's, it's a developing country, and its citizens have experienced such things as civil war, food scarcity, and deadly epidemics. Now USAID and other organizations are making strategic investments in this country that are, that are designed to help advance its scientific capacity. For example, I learned about how they are investing in, in mobile money so that government workers can get paid more quickly instead of having to collect cash payments and have to walk miles to go get it. Another area, and what I worked on, is the strengthening of health systems so that health shocks like the 2014 Ebola outbreak that killed nearly 30,000 people don't occur again. Now on the surface, investments in science to propel those things sounds great, but the power of those statements didn't really register until I was on the ground in Liberia, interacting with Liberian health and education workers, USAID Liberian staff, or even the local embassy driver, when I really started to appreciate what investments in scientific funding meant, not just for working with librarians to, to, to prevent disease epidemics or get them paid on time, um, but also how working together on science and tech has instilled in them an infectious and profound sense of optimism that things can get better and that seeing progress in scientific, scientific capacity propels their optimism and drive to continue to, work, to, to keep working to improve their country. Getting the opportunity to interact with folks at USAID and folks like you, those that are committed towards the advancement of scientific and societal progress, has really inspired me. I've learned, so, I've learned about so many amazing things going on in science and how they're really making a difference in people's lives. Things like creating climate smart agriculture or using blockchain to ensure fair elections or understanding the social determinants upon health. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it. Or in this, or in, in this crowd, you can just ask the person next to you. <laughs> Now, 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 I will admit that I am by nature an optimistic person, and some may think I'm being, being a bit naive, or perhaps even buying a bit too much into that hopey, changey stuff. But these anecdotal experiences and the interactions during my fellowship, highlighting the successes and seeing the direction where things are going, have reinvigorated my optimism and reinforced that making societal progress relies on the interrelationship and cyclical nature of how investment and scientific funding drive discovery and that communicating that discovery and the change it represents in ways people can understand drives optimism, which then drives continued interest in more funding for science. Science is the engine of progress and prosperity. It can fire our imagination, fuel economic growth, and serve as a symbol of hope. So to the folks at AAAS that came up with the BioForce for Science motto, I apologize, nice job. <laughs> to my fellow scientists, become engaged. Find ways to make the public understand how scientific achievements in your fields are making a difference and to recognize that it is driving optimism for continued progress. As you move on to bigger and better things, keep being a force for science, but more importantly, be a force for optimism.